Hello everyone. Um, this is one of my other New Year's resolutions, 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 um, was to kind of try to get on here and be literally like completely honest and show the world and everybody out there that some days you just don't wear makeup, your face is all red, you got a fuzzy sweater on and no bra. And you know, it is what it is. Um, and I think that's important. I think it's important to to know that it's that that's okay. I think, you know, I think as you get older, you definitely, I don't, and I don't even know, sorry, my wind chime is really loud. Um, I don't know if we resign ourselves to the fact that it is what it is, or if we just think, oh, well, we can't change now, or, well, we gotta keep up with the 20-somethings, or, and I'm, I'm not hating on 20-somethings, because I was a 20-something, and and I want them to know that it's okay, too, to, to just have a day where you're just like, ugh. Like, right now, my husband, for Christmas, um, planned a really nice weekend getaway. We're going to Georgia, um, to Helen, Georgia, and we're gonna mine for gold and, you know, do all that fun stuff and there's like a big German area and it seems super fun and I'm very excited and right now I should be packing and I should be putting all my makeup and skincare and stuff together but do you guys ever just have that day where it's like in your head you're just fighting with yourself because you're like if I just do it it's done and I, I don't have to keep thinking about it but it's like you can't do it um that's how I feel today because it is you know almost four o'clock and I'm still wearing my pajamas. Um, and I've known all day that we're leaving tomorrow. And I just haven't packed. And I haven't done my makeup because, or put my makeup in its travel case or anything. And <sighs> such is life. Um, I, I, you know, I'm going to be real personal for a minute. We're going to get real here on my back porch on my brown couch that we discarded. But I like, it's my little place. Um, the sun is shining, as you can tell on my glasses. Um, I just, I, I have a panic disorder, so I suffer from a lot of anxiety and, you know, sometimes that can be crippling. Um, and some days are good, some days are bad, some days I have a good day and at the end of the day something crazy happens and, you know, it's just the way my mind works and the way my brain works and I'm learning to come to terms with that. Um, without letting it affect my family and my kids um, as much as it probably does. But um, so things like packing, which seems so simple, or things like getting dressed sometimes, I, I, you know, I feel like I put it off to the very last second. And then it's almost like I give myself, by putting it off, I give myself an excuse to not do it, um, which is not great um but it is what it is so like I know we're leaving tomorrow I know I need to put my makeup but I get anxious about packing because I'm like what if I don't pack the right thing or what if I like I get this specific outfit in mind and I'm like I have to wear this and then I can't find it and I've got somebody coming over and watching my kids my best friend Shauna and I'm like oh my gosh are the sheets clean like and, and then all this stuff and I'm not actually getting anything done I get so in my head and I think a lot of us do I think that's a common problem with women that we get in our head about stuff and then you turn around and it's six o'clock at night and nothing is done and then you're racing around and then you you've caused yourself this extra stress and anxiety um you know i you know i quit a pretty stressful job about it'll be two years in august and um have taken this time to kind of wow two years um to kind of rediscover myself and you know I've been fortunate and blessed enough that I have a very good support system my husband has been incredible is is incredible um, I have an incredible group of friends and my family have all been very supportive about me taking some time to kind of just 
not feel like I have to be the best at everything or that I have to, you know, work 12 hour days and you know, that that's just, I'm a type A personality. And this time has given me time to try to come to terms with that. Um, I even had it tattooed on my body. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is, oh, well, hold on right there. Um, that's Hebrew for be still, which, um, if you know from Psalms, uh, the 46, ooh, I feel bad if it's not right, 46, 10, um, be still and know that I'm God. Um, with anxiety, you, you, you're never still. Something's tapping, something's shaking, something's going on inside you. Sometimes you feel like a rubber band that is just stretched to that point where if anything touches it or anything happens, it's just going to break. Um, and so I put that on my body where I can see it so that I can know that God knows what's going on and he's going to take care of it and, and just to be still. And, you know, I was just going to make this channel about makeup first impressions and showing people how that, you know, you don't have to be crazy with your makeup and kind of doing like an informative thing too. Um, but I think this is important too. I think it's important to be real. Um, I actually was just watching Jeffree Star on Snapchat and he was talking about um, don't believe what people put on social media because that is, it, I mean, it gives you an opportunity to show the perfect version of yourself um, to Facetune and filter and, you know, edit and make it so that everything is perfect. Um, and that that's what you want the world to see. Um, but I think that sometimes it's important to show the world that you're not perfect because you're not perfect. Um, and that's okay. It's okay to be not perfect. It's okay to have flaws. It's okay to stress out about what you're gonna pack for a two day trip. It's okay, just take a breath, be still, take a moment. Um, ladies especially, you know, self-care is so important. Um, I don't think it gets talked about enough. I think, you know, we, we judge ourselves as mothers, we judge ourselves as women. Um, you know, we judge ourselves against our job and other people, men, women that are competing for the same things or in similar positions. We judge ourselves based on other wives, other people, you know, just all the stuff. And it's like, we're not them and we don't see what goes on in their head either. So there's only one person who can judge us and we're, we're not, you know, there's not a standard is what I'm trying to say. Like there's not some perfect standard or line in the sand that we, we have to be at to be our best, best selves. Um, we are constantly learning. We are constantly changing our, our opinions, our interests, our skin, our kids, everything is changing every day. And all we can do is look at what is happening right now. Um, learn from the past, but you have to keep going and don't, keep being like, oh, I wish I should have done that. Or, oh my gosh, if I had done this, this would have happened. Or if this happened, you know, that stuff that you'll, you, I mean, that'll paralyze you. And don't be too caught up in the future either. Like, it's great to have goals and it's great to want to achieve something. But, you know, the reason that all this has happened to me and I have this disorder now and I'm anxious all the time is because I set myself up for failure. I set unrealistic goals and set my standards so high um, that it didn't allow room for improvement or didn't allow room for failure. And when I did fail, I didn't know what to do because failure was not an option. And now I'm not calling it failure anymore. Um, it's learning, you're just learning. You're learning every day. Um, None of us are perfect parents. None of us are perfect people. So I'm rambling and I know that. Um, and I might not even upload this video. I mean, this might just be for me. But I just wanted to give you guys a little encouragement and say that I feel you. And there's someone out there that 
understands and acknowledges. I think that's the thing. That's the thing, acknowledging it. Um, I acknowledge and don't beat yourself up about it. If you have a bad day, you have a bad day. If you want to go out with no makeup on, girl, do it. Um, who cares? You know, who cares? Who, who are we trying to impress? And that's the thing. Like, if you don't feel like doing something, like, if you don't feel like putting makeup on, but you, but you want to go somewhere, who's stopping you? Who is stopping you from going out without makeup on? Who are you trying to impress and I think if you stop for a minute and think about that because I do it all the time I'm like who am I trying to impress I have a husband who loves me unconditionally um on my worst days he loves me and if you're not in a marriage or in a relationship you know do you do you really think that if you put extra makeup on your face when you go to the grocery store that you're gonna find your true love um Probably not. You know, so just stop caring what people think as much. And just being able to be comfortable with that is something that I work on and struggle with daily. Um, this is hard. Looking at my face right now as I'm recording and don't have my lights set up and all that stuff is hard. Um, you know, I. but I mean, I can see a look at my breakouts right there. Um, and I'm just putting it out in the world. I don't know how many people are going to watch this. Maybe nobody will, but could be a lot of people. So all I'm saying is girls, we need to be kind to each other and we need to make allowances for our faults and learn that the faults are what make us unique. And that maybe going out without makeup on might inspire some other mom who is, or some other person who's just so stressed out with other stuff. And then on top of that is trying to make this like perfect facade. Um, and they might look at you and go, oh my gosh, like how empowering is that? That she can, you know, she's just, she don't care. She's got stuff to do. And right now that doesn't involve makeup or right now that doesn't involve anything but yoga pants. Um, be that inspiration. I want to be that for my, for my daughter. Um, she's seven now and you know, she, she thinks about that kind of stuff now. Um, and we try to, in our house, really put an emphasis on that beauty. It's, it's so cliche, but it's so true. Beauty is from within. A person is beautiful, not because of what they look like, but because of what they act like and who they are. Um, and that anyone is beautiful. Like if you meet somebody and talk to them and find out what a fantastic person they are, that's what's so beautiful. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. I, I want, I want to make my daughter proud. I want her to be proud of who she is. I want her to not have this unrealistic expectation of what she's supposed to be because all she's supposed to be is herself. Right now, she's, she, she wears glasses. She doesn't need glasses, but she wears glasses because I wear glasses. So she has fake glasses. I let her wear them in school. She wants to play the bass guitar. She's silly and messy and gets in fights with her brother all the time, but I, I don't want her to ever change. I want her to, she's so loving and giving and accepting of others. And, I, and sometimes I just watch her and I'm like, gosh, wouldn't it be amazing if as adults, we kept that childlike, acceptance of things and love of things just it would be awesome um so I guess rant over it's not really a rant but um if you did watch this and liked it thank you um I hope maybe it's encouraged somebody um subscribe don't subscribe comment don't comment um but I hope you guys are having a great day uh, know that I'm thinking about you and know that it's okay. It's all going to be okay. Just take a breath and be still.